Prashant. I am working here as an professor at St. Martin's Engineering College. Today I am going to discuss the concept of wave particle duality. So, in order to understand the concept of wave particle duality, you need to understand first what is the concept of a particle and what is a wave. So, first we need to understand what is a particle and what is a wave. So, what is a particle? The concept of particle is easy to grasp. So, the concept of particle is easy to, easy to understand. We can easily understand the concept of particle. But, the concept of wave, we cannot understand by easily. It is difficult to understand the concept of wave. So, the particle has some definite mass. And the particle can move from one place to another place. And so, we can locate the particle also. So, whenever the particle is in motion, it has some velocity. So, whenever the particle will have some velocity, it has some momentum. So, the particle gives us energy when it slows down or stops it. Whenever we stop the particle, it gives some energy. So, means here, the particle can be specified by its mass, its velocity, its momentum and its energy. So, these are the terms which, which indicates about a particle. Now, we are going to understand what is the concept of wave. So, I already told you that the concept of wave is difficult to understand. We cannot locate a, a, locate a wave here or there. And it is very hard to think about the mass associated with the wave. So, we cannot locate a wave and we cannot think the mass associated with a wave. Now, how can we specify a wave? A wave can be specified by its frequency, you know, nu. And wave can be specified by its wavelength, lambda, and phase, pi, and amplitude, and intensity. So, these are the factors which indicate about a wave. Now, what is our concept? Wave particle reality. Here, you just understand the, the radiation. The radiation is that for some what? Light. So, the radiation sometimes behaves like a wave and other times behaves like a particle. So, the experiment based on interference and diffraction. So, these experiments indicate the, radi the radiations are behaves like waves. Why? Because here in these experiments, in these experiments, we require two waves at the same place at the same time. So, we cannot locate the two particles at the same time at the same place. But, so we can locate the two waves at the same time and the same, uh, same place. So, these experiments require two waves at the same time and the same, uh, same place. So, that, so these experiments reveal as the radiations behaves like wave nature. And, so in the ordinary study, in photoelectric effect and compound effect, what happens in photoelectric effect? Some radiation falls on the metallic surface. Here, the radiation interacts with the metallic surface. Radiations are interact with the electrons. How they interact? So here the collision will happen. So in this case, the radiation interacts with the matter in the form of photons. What is the photon you know? The photon is nothing but a particle. So these experiments reveal us the radiation behaves like the particle nature. Finally, what we are concluding? So we are concluding that radiation sometimes behaves like waves, other times behaves like a particle. Finally, we conclude radiation has wave particle dualism. The radiation shows wave particle dualism.